Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hoodie London. This is for entertainment purpose only. This is the Idaho quadruple murders that took place in Idaho, Moscow on the 13th of November 2022. May the four victims rest in peace. May justice be served. I need to explain a bit here before I play this recording. Pay attention to hoodie guy, John Jack Showalter Jr. You see him standing right in the corner there. And you see a guy with a black tracksuit on. Pay attention to that guy. A woman will soon come and stand behind him too. There are very suspicious behaviors going on. I've mentioned that guy before in my other clips. He and John Showalter seem to be texting each other. You can see one text is the other picks up, his phone brightens up. Then the other one replies, his phone brightens up. I mentioned that part, but pay attention to all the things that's going on because I think this is really connected to whatever happened to these poor victims. Yeah, you can see the guy texting Shawalto. Shawalto is texting him back. You can see Maddie and Kaylee there. Hoodie guy is standing behind John Shawalto. They all are in it. Now you pay attention to the guy in the black who's just come in. He's standing in the line. Him and Hoodie Guy are pretending not to know each other. They're going to start texting each other. You can see them texting each other, allegedly. Both of them are busy with their phones. I have a feeling that they're telling each other that Maddie and Kaylee are here. You can see Joshua Walter, Joe Vito, I mean, with his can of Coca-Cola passing signals. Now you can see the guy with the tracksuit properly. John Walter goes to the other side. Now pay attention to that guy and do not get your eyes off him at all. You can see he's very restless, the way he's shaking his legs the woman comes now the woman and him are pretending not to know each other but soon they're going to be sitting together behind where it's dark that you can't see them I have a feeling that this woman with the white jacket and the guy with the long hair are up to something. This is all signals being passed in the grub truck. I always knew that my two favorite clips are the Banfield alcohol minor video and the grub truck because all the nonsense is there. Now watch what happens. You see him, he's, you can see how restless he's getting. I wonder he, if he was the guy who was involved in the whole thing. Allegedly. You can see he's very restless. He has a headset on. The woman is talking on her headset or something. This is a whole teamwork, whatever is going on. You have number nine behind there. The guy with the white shirt and and the cap he's been a bit suspicious too keep on watching now you see the guy with the tracksuit now I'll have to take it a bit down because you won't be seeing him soon he'll be right behind he's sitting in the dark over there 
You have John Schwartz on the side. You have Kaylee and Maddie there. I know there are a lot of there are many people, so it's a bit hard to explain, but you see soon that people start dispersing and then it's easier to see what's going on. Joe Vito should actually go to the police and explain exactly what's going on. I've always said, and I'm calling him out, he's a liar. He knows exactly what is going on here. I don't know if these people are shorters, if they're dealing with drugs or whatever is going on. It's bigger than this. There you see the guy with the black track suit. He's sitting there behind. Remember he has a track suit. The track suit pant has white on the side. So it's always easier to pay attention to that. I used to actually think he, I thought he left long time ago. I was lucky my daughter's here and she was very observant. So she told me, no, he's sitting there behind. It's going to get more and more stranger what's happening here. Pay, t pay attention to the black screen behind. The reflection of the mirrors, you see a car coming soon. And the, you see more people coming, looking at the girls, looking at the guy with the black tracksuit, and they're giving each other codes. Now, you see the guy over there, that's the neighbor. What was his name? Dakota? Yeah, he has nothing to do with it. He pays for his food, and he leaves. This couple are up to no good. These ones pretending to be carrying each other. Everyone is here doing some kind of strange work. Maddie and Kaylee are there. It's a bit difficult to see the guy, the guy with the black track suit, but he's sitting behind. Kaylee's texting on her phone. Hoodie guy is standing there. I've heard people saying that he's there out of good faith. He's escorting the girls. He ain't escorting anyone. I've said that before. I observe people and hoodie guy was up to no good from the start. The girls are standing and talking here. Now pay attention to the guy with the black track suit, he's sitting there, so he, he and the woman are sitting there because they came to pay attention to the girls. They came for their target. I hate to say that word, but allegedly I believe this is the target. This guy should be paid attention to closely, he and his partner, because a white car comes to pick up his partner. I find that to be fishy too. The two guys there. Look at their movements. He gets his food. He and his friend are not supposed to go in the same direction. They start bumping into each other. And it looks like they exchange something. He gives him something. So that guy is out of the picture now. You see him upstairs. He goes. I don't know how to show it, but a white car comes and picks him up. Yeah, you can see. And he, and he chucked his food. Very important. So you see a car picking him up. It's a white car. The car drives away. Okay, now let's come back to the guy with the black track suit. This tall guy is in the way, that's the problem. But you can see he's still sitting there with that woman. He's paying attention to Kaylee and Maddie. Now pay attention to the black screen behind the guy with the track suit and behind the guy who's standing there. 
you'll see a car will come soon and wait there. I don't think it's the car, the Uber that Maddie and Kaylee ordered. I doubt. You can see that guy is talking to the woman. This tall guy is standing in the way. Thank God. He's moved now. This whole group has come closer. They're involved too, I believe. Now you see that guy with the tracksuit. He's sitting there and he keeps on paying attention to the girls. He and the woman. But hoodie guy is involved. I personally believe because they were texting each other. Now watch what happens when the girls go. And I actually have to do this so that you can see what's happening behind the guy with the tracksuit because a car will come from there. Now you see this guy coming in. This is very important. He looks at Maddie and Kaylee and the guy in the blue jacket. They need to be found, I believe. Look at them. These guys would start... See, look at the guy in the tracksuit, how he's looking at them. It's dark there, so it's a bit difficult to see. Hoodie guy is still there. I'll do this so that you can see it the whole way through. And pay attention to the black screen behind, because you'd see a car coming. The guy with the blue jacket is important too. I know it's not really clear, but I'll explain to you all from what minute. Look at the car there. Pay attention to that car behind. The girls have left. Hoodie guy has left. Hoodie guy has gone in that car. Let me rewind it. Here, these are the guys that are important to watch. You see they look at Maddie and Kaylee. Look at them. And the guy in the blue jacket. The three guys. You can see them upstairs. They're there. And now pay attention to when the girls go without hoodie guy. The girls have gone. There's a car parked there. Wait, see it's blinking. There's hoodie guy. He gets upset. He goes. And now you see the car is engine starts. Hoodie guy goes towards the car. He's going to that direction. And the car goes off. So hoodie guy is in that guy. In that car, I believe. Now watch these guys upstairs. They're very important, the one in the blue jacket and the one in the black. Because they talk to this guy in the tracksuit. The guy in the tracksuit is still there. His food is soon done. He picks it up and he goes the other direction. All these guys need to be checked on. So it's, I'm talking about the guy in the white shoes and the black jacket. The guy in the blue jacket who's really tall. Those two guys were giving code languages to the guy in the tracksuit. Hoodie guy left to the car and hoodie guy is clearly working with this guy who's sitting behind. See. There he is. This is the guy that's really important. He decided to wear a hoodie now. 
so that the camera doesn't catch him. There he goes. Here are the two guys. This guy is really important. This tall guy that you see now. Let me try and explain it one more time properly. This guy that you see with the black tracksuit and the woman behind him. They could be totally innocent or they could be up to something. When he comes in, hoodie guy is standing behind him. They start texting each other. You can see the exchanging of the text is going on between both of them. The light comes on, the light goes off on their mobile devices. Then this guy orders food. He goes and he sits near the window or whatever it is where these two people are kneeling. He sits there and he does it on purpose because he's watching Maddie and Kaylee. After a while, you see Hoodie Guy is always standing behind the girls. It looks like he's working with this guy. And then later on, right before Mad Maddie, I'm sorry, Kaylee is texting someone on the phone. So I don't know if she's ordered the driver or if she's te texting someone, maybe the roommates, allegedly, or maybe Jack, whoever she's texting you see a car comes, a car is waiting outside, and I thought the car was waiting for them. But strangely enough, when the girls go without warning, Jack Showalter, Jack Showalter gets upset, he throws out his hand, and then he goes around and then towards the direction of the car. And then you see the car's light going on, and the car drives off. Then you have the two guys who bump into each other. You need to follow the whole movement because one of them chucks his food in the bin without even opening his food or touching his food. And then you will notice that he gets into a white car. And then right after that, you will see this guy with the black tra tracksuit watching the girls, hoodie guy goes right after the girls leave in a different direction. And then you will see a new group comes, a guy with a blue black jacket and a guy with a blue jacket. And they both look at the guy in the black tracksuit. That's before hoodie guy leaves. And Hoodie Guy looks at them. They all look at those new guys who come in. And those guys look at Kaylee and Maddie immediately when they come in. Yeah, you can see the telephone exchange, the text messages going on between them two. They look at each other, they turn away from each other. The phone exchange is still going on. Pay attention. Jovito is giving signals, flashing signals with his thumb and Coca-Cola can. There goes Kaylee. There goes Hoodie Guy. Number nine and number eight will soon leave after they, they have done whatever they have to do. This is a teamwork going on. You can see the guy with the tracksuit, he's sitting there talking to another guy in a yellow jumper. Hoodie guy checks his message, you all saw that. Joe Vito is waiting for someone. There's a lot of signals going on here.
You have the guy with the tracksuit actually standing here. He's going to sit in the corner after a while. Yeah, this is the part you should pay attention to. You have the guy with the tracksuit sit, sitting behind this tall guy. You have the girls here. You have hoodie guy there. You have those two guys, the one that chucks away his food. These two are very interesting characters, too. See, there's the car that comes in now. If you notice, the car's going to just park there, but it keeps on blinking. It's waiting for someone. And I believe it's waiting for Hoodie Guy, because you're going to see what happens here. Those two go their separate way. I think Maddie, that's the time she says something to Hoodie Guy. You can see that car is light is still on. You have the guy who was texting John Showalter behind this tall guy. You can see the car blinking there. This tall guy is in the way, that's the problem. Others, you would see the guy sitting behind him is the guy in the tracksuit. And I think he's the ringleader. The girls are going to soon get their food and go. That's when you see John Showalter leaving and the car that is blinking leaving. And I think that car was waiting for John Showalter. And then three guys come in. They look at Maddie. Actually, they come in before the car leaves. It all happens so quickly, but you just have to be very observant and watch. Thank God that this group is gone because this group is standing in the way of that guy. There's that guy. And watch behind him. The car light is on. See, the guy that comes in is very important. Watch what he does. He gives this guy a look. It's all a signal going on. And this guy that comes in with him. They're very important, these two characters. Now you see the girls leaving. Try and get the whole picture. You see the guy with the blue jacket, the tall guy, and the guy next to him in the black jacket. See the girls have gone now. Hoodie guy gets upset. Hoodie guy leaves and watch the car that's blinking. It's turned on its lights. Pay attention, it's turned on its light. And that car is going to leave. Y'all have seen the car leaving. That car was waiting for hoodie guy. It's a white car. Oh my God, it's a white car. Pay attention. John Showalter is going to go. And oh my God, the car that was waiting was a white car. Watch where John Schwalter goes and pay attention to the car. There the car turned on its lights and you can see the reflection in the next mirror. It's a white car. 